for three of Plugly's video and yeah I'm pretty impressed on what the plug leads actually done <laughs> which you'll be seeing in this video so currently I'm just driving somewhere to a nice location where yeah I can open the engine but I just talk about the plug leads a bit and like my experience so far like my honest experience and yeah petrol prices is yo, through the roof now at the moment I'm trying to keep this car on 2000 revs when I change I can't open that stack sound anymore Petrol is too expensive <laughs> I'm sure you all can relate But yeah, I'm gonna keep you guys long here on this intro But do remember, please do like, comment and subscribe on this video And stay tuned I'm recording this actually because I didn't have time to actually make a video at Z-Line talking and stuff so basically I took the car to the dyno to compare it obviously and yo, I'm I'm really really I'm shocked at the amount of um, improvement the car actually gained from this the gains it actually gained yo um, so yeah as you can see over here I have the graph no, it has a lighting like that, but yeah, I have the graph over here, as you can see. So, so basically, I'm gonna put the clips up now of what the car did at Z Line, actually. Yeah, it's not a, it's a, not, not a race car, and yeah, it's a daily car, basically. And yeah, it actually gained quite a nice amount of Newton meters and kilowatts for, for leads. Who would have thought leads? So, the reason I've done the comparison basically is just to show man the difference it actually makes because people take leads as leads as as we said in another video but yeah the proof's in the pudding so enjoy this
Okay, so coming back to the video, I'm recording this graph over here. So the way you read the graph is basically over here, you can see that is the Newton meters and then over here is the kilowatts. So what you see in the pink, that was the previous um, diner run that had done. So that was a power run that had done previously before the leads. I don't know if you guys can remember that, that video done with the stack. So I'll just put it up. So basically, it's a big improvement just for leads so this leads is not normal leads like i said so in the other video it's explained it's performance leads so um it's for any car that can take spark plug so it's for any car that can take spark plug leads um yeah so as you can see the big improvement in the graph over here and it's very consistent as well so the car gained 4.5 percent newton meters more and 2.9 percent newton meters more which is around yeah from 157 to 164 newton meters and from 90.6 to 90.3 from this over here <laughs> yeah this stuff is amazing really so as you can see the graph is beating everything from the previous graph so that is a lot and like I said in my previous video, it does make a big time. And again, just to actually prove that the leads is very consistent. These two runs were done after each other. So, I done a first run, the second run, and the third run on the dyno. So, the first run already beat my previous power that, that I made. So, previous power was 90.1. First run, I made 91 kilowatts. And in the second run, 92.5 over there. And then 93.2 and 164 newton meters as you can see there so this lead is very consistent so as you can see i did take the stack off um there's a reason for that so i extended it a few days ago just recorded a few videos to add into this video basically and then yeah i didn't feel like putting it on again seeing that the petrol price increased and stuff but yeah that is the engine bay at the moment Basically what you must know is that a power run isn't a dyno tuning run So they're not going to tune your car, it's not going to mess your car up It's basically just putting your car on the dyno and seeing what power it makes it's the same like driving on the road, um, punching your car in third gear. So basically they're going to put it in first, second and third. So in third gear, the car will then reduce the power through the rev range and then from there it will calculate. So yeah, but to get the best out of your dyno power runs is um, first make sure you have fresh fuel in. Don't go with the empty tank. Um, yeah. Just don't go with the empty tank. Um, fueling is very important when it comes to, yeah, seeing the car's power and how the car actually performs. So make sure you have about, like, yeah, enough fuel and make sure that the fuel is not old because that plays a big role. And then secondly, just make sure you um, service your car. So do a light service, oil change, filter, also see in the video there's some some random cinematics the reason is i was actually gonna do some um feature on the car but then yeah i just decided not to so maybe in future i'll do a feature on this car it's all up to you guys so you guys can comment in the comment section if i should do a feature on the car 
But yeah, but guys, so um, if you are thinking of actually purchasing a set of performance plug leads, do give the plug leads guy a call and yeah, he will sort you out. So he does make the 8.5 mil MSD leads as well. And then these leads I have over here is the 8 mil Morasso performance leads. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. So please do stay tuned for more 160 i content and other content to follow. So do subscribe, like this video and comment what you think. Uh, yeah.